Hi, I'm Dan Cortapassi. Today I'm reviewing an N-Scale Amtrak Viewliner 2 baggage car by Cotto. My example is decorated in the revived Amtrak Phase 3 scheme still in use today. The MSRP for this model is $35. I paid $33.99 for my car on eBay. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The car comes in a clear plastic box with a plastic cradle inside. A thin piece of clear plastic is draped over the part of the car that contacts the lid. A pair of trip pins are included in the box for those wishing to use magnetic uncoupling. This is a good box that should protect the car for storage and transport. I found several photos online of the real Amtrak 61006 and the model appears to be a close match. Some of the small details have been simplified or omitted, though a lot of this would be hard to see in N-Scale anyway. The red stickers on the baggage doors look to have been added sometime between 2015 and 2017, so this model best represents the car after that time. The paint on the car is thin and allows the detailed fluting on the car sides to show. The markings are crisp. The Amtrak America logo and car number stenciling are legible and in register, and the separation lines between the red, white, and blue striping are sharp. Like the prototype, these cars have a relatively plain exterior. The grab irons are molded on. I really like the delicate molded on stirrups at the corners. On the ends, the car has non-working diaphragms and non-operating red marker lights. The grab irons are molded on and there are no uncoupling levers, air hoses, or head-end power cables. Up top, the main features are the large round vents. There's a tiny mold mark in the center of the roof that would be difficult to remove without damaging the fluting detail. Underneath, the car has minimal detail. The trucks are set up for electrical pickup in case you might want to add a lighting kit. The car has truck-mounted Cotto knuckle couplers. The coupler on the A end is slightly high, so I'm taking five points. The coupler on the B end is also slightly high. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. There is no significant body wobble. The car weighs 1.2 ounces, a little under the 1.4 ounce NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length. The car is very free rolling. To open the car, gently spread the car sides. This is a little tricky because of the width of the bottom of the car. There's plenty of room inside to add additional weight or a Kato lighting kit if desired. Putting the body back on can be a little tricky because the window glazing tends to fall inward. Make sure the prongs on the car floor are between the pieces of window glazing. Go slowly and don't force it. Let's see what we've got. The car had two high couplers, so I took 10 points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with a total of 90 out of 100 possible points, which would be an A- on a report card. This is a nice model and it deserves a green signal. Kato did a nice job with this baggage car. If you're looking for some modern Viewliner baggage cars for your Amtrak trains, I think you'll like it.